I've always like like not play for the money because uh -huh. like I, I always try to like improve and uh, try to be as good as I can. I would say that first time I, w I felt professional was like when I was 15. Mm -hmm. That was my first time I remember I was in junior team mm -hmm. and uh, we had some injuries in the top league team mm -hmm. and the, co the, the, the coach and Keo Poldian and the, the manager of the team Mm -hmm. He came to me and he's, he asked me, like, uh, would you be able to come and play for the men's team? And I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I, pl I went and I played and I, I did good. Mm -hmm. So I, I get to stay there. Mm -hmm. And then we were about to start with conversation about contracts and pl mm -hmm. paying me money mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Year, year, year after that. So then I felt like, okay, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I'm going to start my professional career from here and uh, try to make it make my way to the top mm -hmm. or as long as I can. Nice. There's a lot of like uh, people that you know has big influence in in the basketball in my Finland in Finland Finnish national team is <sighs> but I like as far as I know Henrik Detman the head coach he's been like he's been I think the one of the like if the main point Lady. he's a he's a great coach and uh, he's a great mentor great leader mm -hmm. and um, you know he's been there for many many years he has seen right. different players and different eras and uh, he has able to develop the Finnish basketball into a level that we can be competitive he's very honest with you you know that's uh -huh. what I like about him uh -huh. he tells you straight up like how is the deal and what you have to do and what you don't have to do uh -huh. and um, he, he's a great he's a great he has a great knowledge of basketball like he uh -huh. knows he knows what he what he looks for, mm -hmm. and what he what he wants for him for his his team to do, to be able to be su su successful. And uh, you know, I have had many many talks with him, and uh, mm -hmm. and I, I respect him a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last year he came to visit me for a week. One week he came here, and now he's in France, coaching, and uh, so we talk. We talk with him like some some time in the year. We talk and uh, how is things? How are these? Uh, like and uh, last year he came to visit, which was very nice. Mm -hmm. So like most important thing was the coach, Aris mm -hmm. Uh Because of him, firstly and mainly, I came here Why? the first first time last year when I uh -huh. and of course the, also this year. Uh, for me, he's the he's the best coach. Um, he he took me first time when I was in in Sweden. Uh -huh. He went there the coach and I uh, he contacted me and he wanted me in his team. That was the first time I met him, and he coached me and I, I really like how he coached, you know. And uh, I, when he when they asked me to come here, I was not second guessing. No doubt. No, I said yes, because he he when he has coached me, I have improved my game a lot and uh, he has made me a better player stronger mentali mentality he al always like challenged me every uh, day every, every day. day every day challenged me what's the streak ever for, for <laughs> every day's challenge for, with me he's like he's challenging me in a little bit different way he's uh he's be very tough on me if i make a mistake Give me an example if it is possible like if i made a mistake he, he let me know like why you do this, Robert? Why you do this mistake? Why you have to do? You don't have to do this mistake, and uh, it goes on and on and on. And I like he that. He his own way. Yeah, and I like that. I respect. I, I respect that, and like uh, it keeps me keeps me focused all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, Challenge me mentally, mm -hmm. and uh, he 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 makes sure that I'm ready, and everybody's ready when the game is on, and uh, that we practice hard every day, and mm -hmm. like give everything I cut we got mm -hmm. in the team. Uh, I knew that it was a big tourist place before I went to Rodos. Mm -hmm. uh, from Finland, I, I knew that from Finland people go there and uh, they go enjoy the holidays. And uh, so when I walk there, you know, you see the Finnish, Finnish bars and Finnish restaurants, and they talk Finnish. And for me, it's uh, I don't know. I try to <laughs> walk past and say, say say no Finnish words, and like it's amazing. That was something. Something that I think every player in Finland is looking forward to, and um, you know it's a dream come true. You know, 
We, we came from qualifying the Eurobasket to here. So, you know, it's, it's a long, long road and like we have improved a lot with, the, with, the, with, the, with our basketball, with the fans, with, uh, with everything we have improved and, and that's a great thing, you know. I hope we, I hope we like keep going up, 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 up all the time and like you know. So the Wolf Pack will play at home for the dream. Yes.